All right. United States District Court, Southern District of New York, United States of America versus Jeffrey Epstein. And here's the case number right here. Count one, sex trafficking conspiracy, the grand jury charges. As set forth herein, over the course of many years, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, sexually exploited and abused dozens of minor girls at his homes in Manhattan, New York, and Palm Beach, Florida, among other locations. In particular, from at least in or about 2002 up to and including at least in or about 2005, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, enticed and recruited and caused to be enticed and recruited minor girls to visit his mansion in Manhattan, New York, the New York residence, and his estate in Palm Beach, Florida, the Palm Beach residence, to engage in sex acts with him after which he would give the victims hundreds of dollars in cash. Moreover, and in order to maintain and increase the supply of victims, Epstein also paid certain of his victims to recruit additional girls to be similarly abused by Epstein. In this way, Epstein created a vast network of underage victims for him to sexually exploit in the locations, including New York and Palm Beach. Okay? And you know what, guys? Like, let me see if I can get the other one. That way I can actually, like, highlight shit. Uh... All right, here we go. Now, nah, there we go. That's better. We can actually highlight shit. So here's it. The same indictment, guys. Don't worry. See, same same case number, etc. cetera. Um, okay. The victims described here were as young as 14 years old at the time they were abused by Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, and were, for various reasons, often particularly vulnerable to exploitation. Epstein intentionally sought out Miners and knew that many of his victims were in fact under the age of 18, including because in some instances, minor victims expressly told them their age. And you guys know this because we had just read the state case and um, a bunch of the victims said that, uh, that, that Epstein knew. In creating and maintaining his, this network of minor victims in multiple states to sexually abuse and exploit, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, worked in and conspired with others, including employees and associates who facilitated his conduct by, among other things, contacting victims and scheduling their sexual encounters with Epstein at the New York residence and at the residence at the Palm Beach residence. Okay. Factual background. During all time periods charged in this indictment, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, was a financer with multiple residences in the continental United States, including the New York residence and the Palm residences, that, which we described to y'all before, right? Beginning in at least 2002, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, enticed and recruited and caused to be enticed and recruited dozens of minor girls to engage in sex acts with him, after which Epstein paid the victims hundreds of dollars in cash at his New York residence in Palm Beach. In both New York and Florida, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, perpetrated this abuse in several ways. Victims were initially recruited to provide massages right, to Epstein, which would be performed nude or partially nude, would become increasingly sexual in nature, and would typically include one or more sex acts. Epstein paid his victims hundreds of dollars in cash for each encounter. Moreover, Epstein actively engaged, uh, encouraged certain of his victims to recruit additional victims to be similarly sexually abused. Epstein incentivizes victims to become recruiters by paying these victims, these victim recruiters, hundreds of dollars for each girl they brought to Epstein. And in doing so, Epstein maintained a steady supply of new victims. So the New York residents. So here, guys, we're going to get some facts that we might not necessarily have been privy to on the uh, on what I read to you guys from the Florida stuff. At all times relevant to this, this indictment, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, possessed and controlled a multi-story private residence on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, New York, i.e. the New York residence. Very nice, guys. Very nice area. Between at least in or about 2002 and in or about 2005, Epstein abused numerous victims at the New York residence by causing these victims to be recruited to engage in paid sex acts with them. When a victim arrived at the New York residence, she typically would be escorted to a room with a massage table where she would perform a massage on Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant. The victims, who were as young as 14 years of age, were told by Epstein or other individuals to partially or fully undress before beginning the massage. During the encounter, Epstein would escalate the nature and scope the physical con con uh, contact with his victims to include among other things, sex acts such as groping and direct and indirect contact with the victim's genitals. Epstein typically would be would also masturbate during these sexualized encounters, ask victims to touch him while he masturbated and touch victims' genitals with his hands or his sex toys. In connection with each sexual encounter, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, or one of his employees or associates, paid the victim in cash. Victims typically were paid hundreds of dollars in cash for each encounter. Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, knew that many of his New York victims were underage, including because certain victims were to told him their age. Further, 
Once these victim minors were recruited, many of them were abused by Epstein on multiple subsequent occasions at the New York residence, right? Similar to what we saw in the Florida case, guys. A lot of them kept coming back and forth. Epstein sometimes personally contacted victims to schedule appointments at the New York residence. In other instances, Epstein directed employees and associates, including a New York-based employee, employee one, to communicate with the victims via a phone to ar arrange for these victims to return to New York residence for additional sexual encounters with Epstein. See, guys, so they used a phone, all right? So that affects interstate commerce. Additionally, and to further facilitate the ability of abused minor girls in New York, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, asked and enticed certain of his victims to recruit additional girls to perform massages similarly to engage in sex acts with Epstein. When a victim would recruit another girl for Epstein, he paid both the victim recruiter and the new victim hundreds of dollars in cash. Through these victim recruiters, Epstein gained access to and was able to abuse dozens of additional minor girls. In particular, certain recruiters brought dozens of additional minor girls to the New York residents to give massages and to engage a sex act with Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant. Epstein encouraged victims to recruit additional girls by offering to pay these victim recruiters for every additional girl they brought to Epstein. When a victim recruiter accompanied a new victim, a new minor victim to the New York residence, both the victim recruiter and the new vic minor victim were paid hundreds of dollars by Epstein for each encounter. In addition, certain victim recruiters routinely scheduled these encounters through employee one so i guarantee you guys right now employee one is probably uh was probably cooperating with the government and probably gave his testimony okay um that's why they're naming them by employee one and versus giving their real name or the, the fact that employee one isn't involved in the indictment they probably work something out where they cooperate and they're willing to testify against uh epstein uh in return for not being prosecuted Employee one who sometimes asks recruiters to bring specific minor girls for uh, to bring a specific minor girl for Epstein, the Palm Beach residents. Okay, so we went over this one in detail, but let's go over it as well. In addition to recruiting and abusing minor girls in New York, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, created a similar network of minor girls to victimize in Palm Beach, Florida, where Epstein owned, possessed, and controlled another large residence, i.e., the Palm Beach residence. Epstein frequently traveled from New York to Palm Beach by private jet. Remember, guys, how the detective had um, uh, subpoenaed the the travel patterns between new york and uh palm beach and every time they landed in palm beach uh his assistant sarah would call um robeman right uh uh sarah yeah robson Haley robson to organize and get girls ready for when they landed so that he would have a steady array of girls okay Epstein frequently traveled from New York to Palm Beach by private jet before which an employee or associate would ensure that, ensure that minor victims were available for encounters upon his arrival to Florida. We know who that is. They're referring to Sarah Kellen and Haley Robson. At the Palm Beach residence, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, engaged in a similar course of abusive conduct. When a victim initially arrived at the Palm Beach residence, she would be escorted to a room, sometimes by an employee of Epstein's, including at times two assistants, employee two and employee three, I wonder who those two are. Probably Haley Robson and Sarah Kellen, uh, Kellen, who I guarantee also probably got deals to not be prosecuted in exchange for going after Epstein. Okay? Who, as described herein, were also responsible for scheduling sexual encounters with minor victims. So we already know who these two people are, employee two and employee three. All right? Once inside... The victim would provide a nude or semi-nude massage for Epstein, who would himself typically be naked. During these encounters, Epstein would escalate the nature and scope of the physical contact to include sex acts such as groping and direct and indirect contact with the victim's genitals. Epstein would also typically masturbate during these encounters, ask victims to touch him while he masturbated, and touch victims' genitals with his hands or with sex toys. In connection with, sex with each sexual encounter, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, or one of his employees or associates, paid the victim in cash victims typically were paid hundreds of dollars for each encounter and we know that it was somewhere between two to four hundred dollars because we already read the case on this and we know the facts when it comes to the florida situation jeffrey Epstein, the defendant knew that certain of his victims were underage including because certain victims told him their age in addition as with new york based victims many florida victims once recruited were abused by Epstein, the defendant, on multiple additional occasions. You guys saw that he basically had like a rotation of girls that he would brought back and forth to include one girl that he even got a rental car 
and flowers, and he sent it right to the school. Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, who during the relevant time period was frequently in New York, would arrange for employee two or other employees to contact victims by phone in advance of Epstein's travel to Florida. Oh, who do we know that is? Sarah Kellen right there, okay? To ensure appointments were scheduled for when he arrived. Okay, so he wanted girls ready when he landed. In particular, in certain instances, employee two placed phone calls to minor victims in Florida to ensure encounters at the Palm Beach residence. At the time of each certain of those phone calls, Epstein and employee two were in New York, New York. Additionally, certain of the individuals victimized at the Palm Beach residence were contacted by phone by employee three. Employee three is who, guys? Once again, Haley Robson, to schedule these encounters. Moreover, as in New York, to ensure a steady stream of minor victims, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, asked and enticed certain victims in New York to recruit other girls to engage in sex acts. Epstein paid hundreds of dollars to victim recruiters for each additional girl they brought to the Palm Beach residence. So statutory allegations. From at least in or about 2002 up to and including in or about 2005 in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, and others known and unknown, willfully and knowingly did combine, conspire, confederate, and agree together with each other to commit an offense against the United States to wit sex trafficking of minors in the violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 1951AB. Okay? It was part and object of the conspiracy that Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, and others known and unknown would and did in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce. Remember, guys, I told you, using the phone and flying to back and forth affects interstate commerce which is what makes the case federal and why the Southern District of New York was able to come in and use the facts from the Florida case and the New York case together in one indictment. Who and did in affecting interstate foreign commerce recruit, entice, harbor, transport, provide, and obtain by any means a person and to benefit financially and by receiving anything of value from participation in a venture which has engaged in any such act knowing that the person had not attained the age of 18 years and would be caused to engage in a commercial sex act in violation of Title 18 United States Code, Sections 1591A and B. So, real quick, guys. Remember how I said that sex trafficking is not that prevalent unless it's minors? When we had that little discussion, uh, you know, on the Fresh Fit podcast a couple of days ago where a bunch of girls were trying to argue about, oh, my God, sex trafficking is so common. Guys, it's really not. And most of the time, let, let put it this way. If all these girls were 18, Epstein would never have been indicted federally. It's when they're under the age of 18 that it now becomes a federal offense because they cannot consent. And the fact that he inter affected interstate commerce with the with uh, with what he was doing is why they were able to hit him federally and the girls were underage. However, if the girls were 18 and above and they were doing it willingly, right, where they wanted to do this, it would just be a prostitution ring and it wouldn't rise to this level. OK, so a big element of this, as you guys can see in the indictment is they are had not attained the age of 18 years old. That's a key factor here, guys, when it comes to um, sex trafficking federally. They have to be under 18 years old, typically. Over at X. And remember, guys, conspiracy is an agreement between two people, right, to commit a crime, and an overt act is committed in furtherance of the conspiracy. In furtherance of the conspiracy and to affect the illegal object thereof, the following overt acts, among others, were committed in the Southern District of New York and elsewhere. In or about 2004, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, enticed recruited multiple minor victims, including minor victims identified herein as minor victim one and minor victim two and minor victim three, to engage in sex acts with Epstein at his residence in Manhattan, New York, in Palm Beach, Florida, after which he provided them with hundreds of dollars in cash for their encounter. In or about 2002, minor victim one was recruited to engage in sex acts with Epstein and was repeatedly sexually abused by Epstein at the New York residence over a period of years and was paid hundreds of dollars for each encounter. Epstein also encouraged and enticed minor victim one to recruit other girls to engage in paid sex acts, which she did. Epstein asked minor victim one how old she was, and minor victim one answered truthfully. In or about 2004, employee one located in the Southern District of New York and on behalf of Epstein placed telephone call to minor victim one in order to schedule an appointment for minor victim one to engage in a paid sex acts with Epstein. Okay, that's more, that's Sarah Kellum right there. In or about 2004, minor victim two was recruited to engage in sex acts with Epstein and was repeatedly sexually abused by Epstein at the Palm Beach residence over a period of years and was paid hundreds of dollars after each encounter. Epstein also encouraged and enticed minor victim two to recruit the other girls to engage in paid sex acts, which she did. 
and her about 2005 employee to located in the Southern District of New York and on behalf of Epstein placed a telephone call to minor victim two in order to schedule an appointment for minor victim two to engage in pay sex acts with, Ep with Epstein. In or about 2005, minor victim three was recruited to engage in sex acts with Epstein and was repeatedly sexually abused by Epstein at the Palm Beach residence over a period of years and was paid hundreds of dollars for each encounter. So guys, they're, they're each each of these paragraphs is describing is describing the overt act for the conspiracy. That's why they're um, outlining it in this way, if you guys are wondering. Excuse me. Epstein also encouraged and enticed minor victim three to recruit other girls to engage in paid sex acts, which she did. Epstein asked minor victim three how old she was, and minor victim three answered truthfully. In her about 2005, employee two located in the Southern District of New York, and on behalf of Epstein placed a telephone call to minor victim three in Florida in order to schedule an appointment for a minor victim three to engage in paid sex acts with Epstein. In her about 2004, employee three placed a telephone call to minor victim three in order to schedule uh, an appointment for minor uh, three to engage in paid sex acts with Epstein. Okay, so that is for the conspiracy. Count two, sex trafficking. The grand jury further charges. The allegations contained in paragraphs 1 through 19 and 22 of this indictment are repeated and realleged as if fully set forth within. Okay. Um, from at least in or about 2002 up to and including in or about 2005 in the Southern District of New York, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, willfully and knowingly in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce, did recruit, entice, harbor, transport, provide, and obtain by any means a person knowing that the person had not attained the age of 18 years, right? That's key, guys. That's key. That's key. That's key. And would be caused to engage in a commercial sex act and did aid and abet the same to wit Epstein recruited, enticed, harbor, transported, provided, and obtained numerous individuals who are less than 18 years old, okay? Because if they were 18, they wouldn't have been able to go after this guy federally like this, including but not limited to minor victim one, as described above and who were then caused to engage in at least one commercial sex act in Manhattan, New York, Title 18, United States Code, Section 1951A, B, 2, and 2. Forfeiture allegations as a result of committing the offense alleged in count two of this indictment, Jeffrey Epstein, the defendant, shall forfeit to the United States pursuant to Title 18, United States Code, Section 1941, 1594C, any property real and personal that was used or intended to be used to commit or facilitate the commission of the offense alleged in count two, and any property, real or personal, constituting um, or derived from any proceeds obtained directly or indirectly as a result of the offense alleged in count two, or any property traceable to such property, and the following specified property. So, guys, long story short, they're about to take all this goddamn property, man. The New York house and the West Palm Beach house, which, which are valued at millions of dollars, okay? The lot or parcel of land together with its buildings, uh, appurtenances, Improvements, fixtures, attachments, and easements located at 9 East 71st Street, New York, New York, with block number 1386 and lot number 10 owned by Maple Inc. 